So you've managed a girl or a guy to go out with you on a date and you're very excited. And of course, with that excitement comes a sense of anxiety, a sense of wanting to perform, a sensing a sense of wanting to put on a show of impressing, right? And I'm talking to everybody here, you know, I'm talking, this video is for both guys and girls. You know, it goes both ways. You're excited, you know, there's somebody else, you're attracted to them and, you know, you finally ask out the girl or, you know, maybe the other way around and hey, like, both of you are, are excited, right? And with that excitement, inevitably, it's going to be the pressure to perf perform, the pressure to impress the other person. Very normal, very natural, but it can really get in the way of the flow. And isn't it what it's all about? It's about the flow. It's about being there in the present moment. And that's it. It's about being there and flowing. What makes a good conversation good? A good conversation is not forced. A good conversation is in the moment. A good conversation is about listening and responding in the moment. Not about what am I going to tell you to appear good in your eyes or to uh, impress you, right? Impress you. You know, if you're a guy, you want to impress the girl on the first date. You want to impress her with your, with your feats of greatness, right? You want to impress her with your social status. You want to impress her with your what you've done in your life, your money, or whatever. If you're a girl, you want to impress the guy with your beautiful nails or with your sexy hair or something. I don't know. Your clothes, right? And your personality. Everybody wants to impress everybody, which is cool. But understand that, hey, if we're going on a first date, we're kind of already attracted to each other. And perhaps there's no need for me to try to impress you. I just want to be myself. If I want to be myself. And that's that's a successful first date. It's how do you be yourself? How do you be in flow when you're just starting to get to know someone? And, and really, you're, you're trying to get to be more intimate with them. I can give you some practical tips. It's all about being in flow. It's all about being in a state of flow. That's where the magic happens. That's where everything just happens. You want to be in flow first date. You don't want to be thinking. You don't want to be like, okay, maybe I, maybe, maybe I can kiss you. Maybe I'm going to go and try and impress her so I can kiss her by the end of the date. You know, like some try and like manipulate and grab some shit from the pickup some pickup book, right? Or pickup video you watch. You're like, I, I want to kiss her by the end of the date. As opposed to being there in the moment. And if, if you feel the energy, then you just, you kiss, you kiss naturally. That's the place you want to be in, right? Maybe the energy is not so at the point where you guys are kissing and that's fine. You got to be sensitive to the energy in the present moment. Let me give you guys practical tips here. First thing first, before you go, if you're a girl, if you're a guy, before you go for a date, Get your ass in the cold shower, okay? Get your ass in the cold shower. I don't care if you, if you took a cold shower in the morning and it's like 7 p.m. now and you guys are going for a coffee date. At 5.30, you go and you take a cold shower, okay? You go take a cold shower. That's automatically, automatically going to put you in, in a better state of flow. If you're going to do nothing else but take a cold shower... Guarantee you, the date will be much better and much more in flow and much more in tune. Now, I live in this utopia. This is my version of utopia, right? Where everybody takes a cold shower. Everybody. There's no hot water. It's just, it's cold shower. Hot water has been outlawed, has been discontinued. That's my utopia. And I hope to live to see that day come one day. If the girl and the guy going on the first date both took a cold shower, oh my God, the, 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 the date would just be fantastic. It would just be in absolute flow. Both people would be in flow. They'd be at a higher, operating at a higher consciousness. They'd be in the zone, in the moment. It would be fantastic. You see why I have this utopia? 
because it will it will improve everyone else's love life and sex life and all that comes with it. It's all connected, right? So take a cold shower. The breathing that you do in a cold shower and the shock that your nervous system gets, the uncomfortableness of it, the shock. Because when you're when you're out there and you're going for the first date, you're a little bit nervous. Your nervous system is it's nervous, right? It's a little bit shocked here. Well, if you can go and take a really cold shower before, give your nervous system that shock, boom. Then an hour later, when you see the girl, when you see the guy, it's gonna be you're not gonna be as you know, like nervous, let's say. Your nerves will literally have calmed down, literally, because of the shock that they received in the cold shower. Even if you take a cold shower in the morning and your date is in the evening, take, a, take one for that day, take two. Take one before the date. Okay? The other tip, uh, and I have to give it to Brad Blanton for this. Brad Blanton is the radical honesty guy. I've showed you guys the, how to get enlightened in three minutes. Before the date, you want to basically laugh. Like, let's say, let's say your date is at 7, and let's say you're leaving your house at 6.30. You know, you're meeting her at 7, and you're leaving your house at 6.30. Well, about 15, 20 minutes before, after you take your cold shower, you want to laugh hysterically. You want to get yourself in a state where you're laughing, 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 <laughs> laughing, Okay? And there are so many ways you can do it. The, one of the easiest ways is the, uh, the method that I'm going to show you right now, right? Which basically, it's sort of, it's, it's a chant. And you just basically sit down or, you know, whatever. Sit, you sit down, do it sitting down, and you just go like, Duh! carry that on for <laughs> for 10 minutes 15 minutes uh, you can combine it as you do this chant you can have something funny playing in the background Bo Rat or Anchorman or some stand-up comedy routine you can just kind of really get yourself in a state of, of joy in a state of, of laughter and if you can get yourself to be laughing for 10 15 minutes straight you're going to go out into the date, especially if you've already taken a cold shower, and you're going to you're just going to have a blast. Honest to God, you're you're just going to have a blast. Your vibe will be so f beautiful to be around, so joyful. Uh, you'll be in the present. You'll have no expectations like, "Oh, I, I got to kiss her after or I got to do this or, you know, sh I want to take her back to my place or whatever." You you will you will not even care. When that's it, I'm guarantee, guarantee you, if you take a cold shower, then you make yourself laugh for 15 minutes, you won't even care. You won't even care. You'll just go there to have fun. You'll be in the moment. You'll be in the present. You'll be in the state of flow. And um, you'll have a good time. What, however it, it ends up, you're going to have a good time. I can guarantee you that much. You'll have a good time. Because in here, you'll feel good. And you'll be, you'll be funnier. I tell you this. Because if here's the secret about sense of humor. If you can get yourself to laugh, you will tap into the humor frequency more, into the uh, humor vibration more, and, 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 and you will just spontaneously be funny. You'll have a great sense of humor. You'll say a, say a lot of funny shit. You won't even know where it's coming from. But that's because you got yourself to laugh so much that you tapped into the humor frequency. And now you're a conduit of humorous energy for joy because you're, you're allowing yourself to laugh a lot so you'll go there you'll be funnier you'll just be more joyful more more happy more positive more in the moment more you listen more you'll make a lot of great jokes and you'll just have a good time okay so honestly i just gave you guys two very practical tips here like really really these, these are very practical like if you do them properly, you go and you take a proper cold shower and you sit down and you do that duh, you do the duh meditation chant and then you put on something funny and you really, really laugh like a deep belly laugh. I can almost guarantee you, yeah, I can guarantee you, you'll have a really fucking good time on the date. 
it'll you'll be in flow you'll you'll just be sharp and again this is why it's my utopia this is my utopia is a world where people everybody takes cold showers and everybody laughs a lot then the world will just be a beautiful place right so good luck good luck on your upcoming date good luck on your you know all your romance all your love hopefully I want to spread more love in the world. I like to see more love. I'd like to see more lovers, more people kissing, more people laughing, just being joyful, you know? So maybe, the, hopefully this will help you guys, okay? Guys or girls, you can apply this. Honestly, this applies to all the, the, the tips that I just gave you right now. Anybody can do them. Uh, and uh, that's it. Remember, it takes two to tangle. You might still do all of these things, but if you don't click with the other person, you just don't click with the other person. Keep that in mind. If you're going to tango, it takes two to tango. You're not just dancing alone. You're dancing with somebody else. Good luck. Uh, and that's about it, guys. God bless you all. I love every single one of you. But don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes. Subscribe.